How I see degrowth, that because they're very, very small, right? On, on, the, on the political map of France, at, at least the French degrowth, sorry. They're, they're microscopic. Yeah, you know, nobody, they, sometimes they got candidates at various elections, municipal. It's, it's 0, 0.0 something something percent of the votes. Their magazine is, is, is quite red, but it's still nothing. But it's very interesting to see how big the armada in front of them is. Like the, the president, ex-president of France, Nicolas Sarkozy, you know, spoke up once and made an entire speech against degrowth. You know, Nicolas Sarkozy is, was the head of the bit larger political party of, of, uh, in France in, like, say, 2011. And he just, like, with all his might, he went on top of the degrowth movement. Now, that tells maybe there's a threat here. You know, you wouldn't use all that sort of uh, power to smash, like, a, a little ant somewhere. That, that's too big. It's, it's so. Uh, what are they called, these, these people from degrowth? Well, sometimes they are called hypocrites, you know, and they are being pointed at as rich kids, you know, who can afford everything, but are telling others that they should, you know, turn off the tap and, and reduce their uh, con consuming habits. Now, this is a very interesting uh, piece of criticism, criticism, I find, because it usually comes from people who are a thousand times richer than them. And also, it, 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 sh it shows that there's very little understanding of the message of decroissance or degrowth. Because degrowth is not degrowth of everybody everywhere. It's degrowth of economy for the richest. And like this is systematically disregarded. So that's why they're being accused of being uh, spoiled kids or disrespectful of the, of the poor in the world. So that's one very common uh, attack that they, they have. Uh, oh yeah, another one which I think you may have heard. I don't know who's familiar with the degrowth idea here. You? So, yeah? Like, one attack is, and I find it hard to pronounce, and perhaps somebody can correct me, is Malthusianism. Yeah, that's a tough one, like from Malthus, yeah, the, the idea that the population is too big and there's too many people and food, there, there cannot be enough food or, in the larger sense, resources for everybody, so we sh there should be less people. I don't know how you get to less people, but, and they're being accused of that. That, that I find very unfair because at least the, the French party, the French movement is, is uh, always saying that there's enough food for 10 billion people on the planet. Like right now at this stage today, we, we're wasting one third of every food that's produced on the earth. One third goes to waste direct, directly. So it's not a matter of how much is the, the, the question of what do we do with what we have. And they are very, very, you know, eloquent about, it's all about splitting in equal shares what is existing as opposed to reducing the number of uh, guests around the cake, if you see what I mean. So that's a very, I find, a very unfair uh, critic. One critic that, that I find hurts me also is because I think it's a little bit true. <laughs> the the, the degrowth people are called sad, pessimistic, killjoy people, you know. And yes, that's, there's, there's, there's a portion of that that I think is true because, you know, it's not good news. Degrowth is not good news. I'd like to tell you folks, you know, go ahead. doesn't matter. You know, we, Conrad and I are going to build a bigger planet and there's going to be plenty of water and fresh air and, and gasoline for everybody. I'd like to be able to tell you that. But the, the sad news is, no, the, the, there's, it's limited. The, the, the amount of, of the good things on Earth are, are limited, you know, space for, for one's uh, uh, goodwill. <laughs> uh, so. It's, it's not a good news, and, and the fact that degrowth is, can be seen as a pessimistic uh, idea is, is I, I can see why, but their reply is that we can choose a simple, more simple way of life that's actually going to compensate the lack of you know, material goods with more uh, riches of the soul, or whatever is the materialistic equivalent of the soul. You know. Uh, solidarity or community sense of uh, whatever. But I, th I still think it's, it's an interesting uh, critic. 
And they've been called as well, I'm going to just give you a couple of more stuff, they've been called green terrorists. Uh, I, I, I like that, especially because terrorist is such a strong word, you know, like terrorist, I mean, people killing other people. Right? If you read a bit more about degrowth, you'll find out that that's exactly the opposite, but that's, that's an interesting rhetoric. They become Leninists. I don't even know what a Leninist is. Um, they're very often pointed out because they question the dogma of uh, sustainable development. You know, the idea that uh, we can carry on, but just by changing a couple of little things in the great picture, it's going to be fine. You know, let's not just do the complete uh, paradigm shift. We just, like a couple of adjustments, it's because the engines in the car are not completely fuel efficient. That's why. You know, when we get to fuel efficiency, then yes, that's, things are going to be really working fine. So the whole sustainable development crowd is really pointing at the girls. And in general, the environment, like the greens in France, are, are very, very upset with the girls because th that shows the, the fact that they are actually not truly uh, credible, you know, the green, at least in France. I don't know about here. The last critic, uh, which I personally take for myself, is degrowth is accused of being cheap. <laughs> Just because we don't want to spend, like, like I said, $2,000 on a bicycle. You know. Oh, you're cheap, Fred. You, why, why are you riding the piece of bicycle that you bought on Craigslist for $60? That's why you're a degrowth person, because you, you don't want to spend your money. Well, no, that's not, of course, you can imagine that that's not the truth. So. Uh, I mean, that's, we're getting near the end of my presentation. As I said at the, in the introduction, I, I'm a firm believer in democracy. I feel that this gentleman here doesn't agree entirely with what I'm saying. So that's the Q&A moment, uh, or comments and questions. No, I'm listening. I agree. <laughs> you agree? Okay. Well, you agree like that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay.